Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Wednesday, June 4th, 2014. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts. We're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You're going to see that they are trading lower by about four points to $1,918 per contract. So futures with a little bit of a morning dip here. Um, what's the cause? It looks like there's some weak economic data that has come out. Looks like ADP job report numbers were released earlier with a number of 179,000. Then you had U.S. productivity fall 3.2%. That's being blamed on the weather. You also had the U.S. trade deficit jump 6.9% in April. Uh, I believe that is a two-year high according to this headline. So again, um, this is what we're seeing. You do have the European markets uh, moving slightly lower today. And you do have um, some weakness last night, really across Asia, with the exception of the Nikkei 225, which actually carved out a $34 gain. But any way you slice it or dice it, here's the deal. This is all you need to look at. You can forget all the news, throw it out the window. Dollar yen. Dollar yen starting to come down. Dollar yen falls, stock market falls. Dollar yen moves up, stock market moves up. Make it real easy on yourself. That's the bottom line. All right, let's take a look at some stocks in the news. We're going to start off first with this ticker symbol PL. This is Protective Life Corp. They are bought, being bought out by uh, Daichi uh, Insurance. Either way, stock is done. If you own it, congratulations. If you don't, there's nothing you want to do with it here. Stock should just trade sideways around the $69 level and just continue to go across the board there throughout the rest of the day until the takeover or the merger is complete. But again, there's nothing you want to do there. One stock I am looking at today, though, is Mattress Firm. M-F-R-M is the ticker symbol. And what you're going to see here is stock is did get a pop yesterday above 48, now trading back down to $45. The only level I'm looking at this stock for a long play would be 37.05. Yes, that's a long way down, but stocks have uh, a funny way of doing crazy things when earnings are released. So, again, that's the only level I'm seeing for it. You may find some short-term support around 41.75, but the level I think you can own this equity is around 37.05. Let it come down there. Let's take a look at uh, TIBX. I believe they guided lower. TIBX is TIBCO Software. Uh, the stock closed at $20.79 yesterday. Right now it is trading at uh, $18.05. I will have gap levels for this one in the morning. So, again, if you want to trade this one with me, come on over to the chat room, intraday stock chat, and in the money stocks.com. We will have this posted up at 9 o'clock in the morning and we'll put our levels out there. Next one I'm looking at here is Leg Mason. Looks like Leg Mason is getting a pretty nice gap up. No volume out here right now, but it looks like they did sell a unit to uh, Stiefel. So um, what you want to do with this is nothing. Uh, you do not want to buy this equity. Okay, this stock is overbought. It's extended. Um, I think you have a ton of resistance up here. If I had a good level here, I would short it. Unfortunately, my level is a little bit higher, but I don't think it gets there either way. But um, it's still a tough trade. But either way, do not buy Leg Mason up here. Um, <clears throat> according to my charts, the stock is very, very overbought at this stage of the game. Could be a fade candidate as well, but I just don't have enough uh, information at this point in time. Let's take a look at ASNA. This is a retail group. I think this is the old dress barn, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think I'm going to have some gap levels for this one. No, I'll give it the level right now. Um, right now, what I'm seeing for ASNA is the stock closed at $16.40. It's now trading at $15.55. The level I'm going to watch for this one will be around $14.85. If it gets down to $14.85, that's a level where you could probably step in for a quick bounce. Another level I like for the stock would be $13.11. I think both levels could give you bounces on ASNA today. So keep that on the radar. Take a look at United Health. United Health, I believe, up their dividend. Stock has a ton, and mark my words, ton, T O N, capital T, of resistance at $81. Do not buy this. Um, if it gets to 82, it could be a potential fade candidate. But um, do not jump on United Health at these levels. This was a trade we were in back at when it was $74. We sold out at 79 and change. Um, do not jump in on this one. This is a 
most likely a gap in crap. I just don't have a great resistance level up here, but I'm going to say the $81 area is probably pretty good resistance already, and you can see a pullback off that. Do not buy United Health. They did raise their dividend today, however, but do not buy it. Next one I'm going to look at is Coach. Coach is get, uh, was downgraded this morning. The stock closed at $40.36. It's now trading at $39.60. Believe it or not, I do have a level on Coach. It is starting to get to attractive levels, in my opinion. Stock has just been decimated. This was an $80 company um, in 2012, now trading at 40 bucks. So it's been sliced in half. But it gets down to around $37.50. If you're aggressive, uh, you can step up in front of Coach, and that's a level where it does look like uh, it could get a bounce. And again, that's where the institutions, in my opinion, will start to come in to support the stock right around the 3750 level. Don't do anything before then, um, but that's a level I do like. Let's move over now to the oil market. Um, let's go over to oil. Light Sweet Crude is trading up 63 cents to 103.29. So good little pop for oil. I think. Um, Royal Dutch Shell had uh, some type of fire last night in the, ne in the Netherlands. So um, even though they use uh, Brent crude, uh, it's still affecting the oil markets today. Gold market is up a little bit. Gold futures are jumping higher by $2.80 uh, to $1,247.30 an ounce. I don't know if we can make too much out of gold here. It's definitely oversold, so we could be due for a short-term bounce. But... Um, Minimal bounces at best. I don't really see any great move on gold, at least at the moment. Um, just to get back to that oil market, <clears throat> let's just go to the USO as well. You'll see that's trading at 37.81. So oil is tr very, very strong. The USO is pretty strong right now. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think there's a play on it one way or the other. Uh, oil can hold up pretty well today for the most part, as far as I can tell. All right, with that said, everybody, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet today. Um, just want to get through this report, get back to the charts, see if we can find some more gap plays before the opening bell. With that said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we'll see you a little bit later.